One of the patterns in my life is to understand kinases like LARC2. Uh, and, the, and these are fascinating enzymes. They really control all aspects of human biology. LARC2 is a really central component of, of the pathways that control Parkinson's. And if we can harness this knowledge, this could have great therapeutic benefits for Parkinson's disease. We uncovered a pathway by which the LARC2 enzyme controls you know, the cell biology. And uh, a key component of this pathway is called a RAB protein. And our work and the research of others has suggested that the LARC2 system becomes hyperactivated. For the companies who are making LARC2 drugs, it gave them something to look for. So when you give somebody who has a LARC2 mutation, you know, a drug to actually decrease that hyperactive kinase, you should be able to see changes in the RAB proteins. And this discovery actually is now being used in clinical trials. This was only made possible through the support of the Michael J. Fox Foundation. The foundation really enables researchers to come together and work together to better understand and treat Parkinson's disease. I've known Cellini since 2016 when she started working in the, the Michael J. Fox Foundation. She's been incredibly supportive. The Pritzker Prize winners uh, embody research excellence and mentorship, and Dario is one person that excels in both those areas. Hi, Dario. Uh, how are Cellini? So, so good nice to see, to see you. you. How are you doing? Very good. How's everything? Yes, you know, welcome back to Dundee. Yeah. He's so generous with his time, with his collaborations, the way he mentors people, even me, and the foundation. But I'm most excited that you have won the Pritzker Prize, which is why I'm here today. So it's wonderful to actually recognize you and honor all the wonderful work that you and your lab have been doing. Oh, thank you so much, Salini. So he's always kind of a guiding light when we feel like we've hit a bottleneck. How are you doing there, Rotomi? Can I introduce you to uh, to Salini? Hi, Rotomi. Hi, Salini. So yeah. these are human samples? Yeah, or these, these are, are human okay. samples. Their key goal in the lab is to give students and other researchers fantastic opportunities to learn about research and become leading experts in this field. It's such a diverse community and people come from all parts of the world. So it's very, very important that you as a mentor are providing a safe space and a space where they can grow and learn and truly be vested in the science. So I think Dario is a great mentor in that sense. Now this is fantastic and I'm very impressed. Thank you. Thank okay. You. The hope for me is always that uh, the people I train might be the people who go on to develop the cures. And that is amazing, he's done this in a week. He does realize the value of collaborations, the value of bringing in other experts. The race is against the disease and to offer benefit for the patients and not against your colleagues who are working to achieve the same goals. In the end of the day, so, so everything's about bringing ben benefit to the patients. We're very fortunate in Dundee to have a large group of patients and their families, which we call the Dundee Research Interest Group. When I meet them and their families and I hear their story, this is what really motivates all of us. Did you all ever think that the work that you all did in the lab would be something that industry uses in the clinic? It was quite emotional to, to, to see the first patient in the UK being given either a placebo or, or the potential like to drug. Receiving the Robert A. Pritzker Prize for leadership in Parkinson's research is such an incredible honor for me. The previous winners of this award are just incredible scientists who've made such an enormous contribution to Parkinson's research. It's just amazing to be part of that group of wonderful scientists. So having this award funding will be transformational. We will use the award funds to further our progress on Parkinson's research. Knowing that a person or a researcher like Dario Alessi is on this problem gives us immense hope. His vision is the same as us. He wants to get rid of Parkinson's disease and he wants to close the doors. I think there's never been an, a, a moment in history where there's been as much research and interest in Parkinson's disease. That our knowledge has expanded a hundredfold in, in the last 20 years. I think we should be very excited that the cures are on the horizon. <laughs>